Hello guys and welcome to my Java programming tutorial series. So the agenda for today's video will be we will look at what are the increment and the decrement operators. Now let us understand variable increment operator which is denoted as plus plus. So variable increment operator is used to increase the value of a variable by one. And there are two flavors of increment operator which is the prefix and the postfix. Right, and we will understand increment operator in detail with the help of the code examples. So consider this example where we have an integer variable a and it is initialized with the value of 2. Right? And if we want to increment the value of a variable by 1, what we do is we write a equals to a plus 1. So now let us print the value of the variable a. So we write system dot out dot print ln. And within the parentheses, I write the variable a and end with a semicolon. All right. So now let me save this and run this. So if I run this program, I type Java C test dot Java. Now let us execute it. So we have Java test. And as you can see, we have the output as three. All right. In Java, there is a simple way to increment the value of a variable by one. What we can do is we can simply write a plus plus. All right. So let me save this and run this. And if we execute the program again, we can see the output is three. So let us execute it. And as you can see, we have the same output, which is three. There is also another way to increase the value of the variable by one. So instead of writing plus plus after the variable, we write plus plus before the variable. All right. So let me save this and run this. So now let me compile and execute it. So we have this test dot Java and let me execute. And yes, we have the output of three, right? So adding plus plus before your variable is called as prefix increment operator. And if we add plus plus after our variable, it is called as postfix increment operate. All right. And there are a few things what we need to know about the increment and the decrement operators. First thing what we need to know about the increment and the decrement operators is that it cannot be used with the literal. All right. So what do we mean by that is, you know, if we write plus plus two and if we try to run this, we'll get the compilation error because our increment and the decrement operators only works with the variable. So let me save this and run this. So let me compile the program. Java C, sorry, test dot Java. And as you can see, we have the compilation error and it states that, you know, it requires a variable. What we provided is a value. All right. And second thing, what we need to know is that we cannot associate increment and decrement operators all right so let us understand this with the help of a example so let me clear that statement and now let us see what i mean by that so if i add this plus plus and add of this plus plus in a parenthesis if i add plus plus again and if i save this and run this i'll get the compilation error now let me compile the program and as you can see we have the compilation error because our first parenthesis plus plus a results into a value and as you know we cannot increment a value that's the reason we have the compilation error all right now let us talk about increment operators in an expression now let us see another example so here what we will do is we'll write something like this int b equals to a equals to a plus one right and so here what I've done is I've initialized the variable B with the value of variable A, where the value of variable A is incremented by one in the same step. All right. And as you know that the equal operator is right associative. So first our expression A plus one will be evaluated, right? And the new value will be assigned to the variable A. And further, the value of B is initialized with the value of 
a. So in this same step, we have done two things. First, increment the value of a by one and then assign the new value of a to the variable b. So now let us print the variables. So I write system dot out dot print ln. And then we have this variable b. So I write b plus and then we have this comma to separate and then variable a. So let me save this and run this. So let us compile the program. Okay, we have successfully compiled the program. Now let us execute it. And as you can see, we have the output as three comma three. So our variable B has a value of three and our variable A also has the value of three. Right. Now what we do is we will replace the expression A equals to A plus one by plus plus A, right? And as you have already seen that, you know, A equals to A plus one can be replaced by either A plus plus or plus plus a so now let us modify and execute the program so i write sorry plus plus a and let me save this and run this so we have java c test dot java let me execute it java test and as you can see we have the same output which is three comma three now let us see what happens if we write a plus plus instead of plus plus a in the expression so what i do is i write a plus plus and as you must have guessed the values of both the variables a and b should be three but this is not the case and as we execute we see that both a and b have different values as the output so let me execute it java c test dot java and compile it java test and as you see, we have different outputs. We have two for B and three for A. So now let us understand why this happened. And you know, this happened because you know, in postfix operator, first the values assigned to the variable B and then the value of variable A is updated in the next step, right? And in the prefix operator, what we do is first increment the value of A and you know, assign the new updated value to the variable B. So that's the reason you have, you know, different outputs for both the operations, all right? So it is not recommended to use increment and decrement operator inside your expression because it may lead to confusing code and annoying bugs. All right. Now let us talk about variable decrement operator. And as you must have guessed, it is used to decrement the value of a variable by one. And they are also of two types the prefix decrement operator and the postfix decrement operator. And we will see this with the help of the examples. Now let us see prefix decrement operator. And as you know, prefix means to add in front. So we add minus minus a in front of our variable a. So we write minus minus a, right? Now let us save and run this. And our output should be one as you know decrement operator is used to decrement the value by one so we write java c test dot java and write java test and as you see we have the output of one now let us use postfix decrement operator so what we will do is we write a minus minus now let me save this and run this program now let us compile and execute the program. So I type java c test dot java and then I write java test. And as you see, we have the same output as one for the post and the prefix decrement operator. All right. And that is it for the tutorial on increment and decrement operators in Java. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Java programming tutorials. And I will see you until next time.